Hello, my friends. Hi, guys. Hang on a second. Just trying to get the comments up here. Okay, that does not work. Hello, my friends. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining me. My name is Angela, and I am the owner of Creative Energy from Elfen und Helden. I'm a primary retailer for Dixie Bell over here in Frankfurt in Germany. So welcome to Europe. Um, when you join me, just let me know where you're watching from and say hi to me. Also, when you watch replay, just put hashtag replay. Uh, into the comments so that I know that uh, you've watched it and that you've been joining me. Hello, mein Schatz. Hello, Dixiebel. Hello, Arts. Hi, Katie. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, the plan for tonight is uh, I want to make a custom glaze with uh, the Moonshine Metallics tonight. Hi, Charlene. Hi, uh, Irina. Thank you guys. Hi, Dixiebel. Hi, Dana. Hi, Natalie. Thank you guys for joining me. If you have any questions, guys, just leave it in the comments. I will try to answer it straight away. If not, I will come back later and answer it later for you. So um, you've been on the journey with me on this uh, blue uh, dresser. Hi, Anne. And uh, we've done quite a bit things to it. We've been blending loads of blues together. We've put, um, oh, I've got to be careful that I'm not dropping it. Hang on. We've put a transfer on the side, which you can see here, um, Iron Orchid Design Transfer. We've put some stenciling on there already with the Moonshine Metallics. And um, today we're going to enhance the front a little bit because we have like all those nice details on here and the nice hardware, which I kept on it because I think that suited the piece pretty nice hi hi marilyn thank you for joining first time all right <laughs> um so i've chosen obviously dixie bell has got um glazes also and they do also have glazes in silver and in gold but as we um already use the moonshine metallics for the stenciling and um, i just want to show you another way to do your own uh, glaze if you don't have the glazes but on hand and obviously because we've done the stenciling we do have the moonshine metallics you can do glazing with the moonshine metallics without uh, um, without uh, uh, saluting them into something uh, you can put them on straight away that works also i've done that down here but you can also put them into one of the top coats from dixie bell and make um, a real glaze so to say and I'm using tonight the Gator Hide because Gator Hide is the strongest uh, top coat by Dixie Bell. And um, it is also, um, it's got like a satiny to glossy finish, which is like perfect for the, um, for the uh, Moonshine Metallics. So you've chosen for the stenciling last week because I asked you the question if you want to use um silver bullet or um the gold digger and uh, it was like 50 50 you know some said uh, gold digger some said the um silver bullet so we basically used both colors for stenciling so we are also using both colors to finish up the front which i think those go beautifully together hello vera hi tracy so okay guys um also, um, when you do your custom lace, so to say, Muncha Metallics, shake them up nicely, shaky, shaky. And I've got uh, some um, jars I can put them in, one for each. I've got my Gator Height here. And also the Gator Height, stir it up. I've got, I'm going to stir it up with a spoon because I'm going to measure it a little bit this time. 
So mix it up nicely. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to, I'm going to see that probably not. <laughs> can somebody lend me a hand? <laughs> yeah, I can do it this way. So I'm going to put some couple of spoons of the Gatorade in here. One, two, <laughs> this is like, okay. I'll put it down. You know what I'm doing. So I'm putting a couple of spoons um, of the Gatorade in here, and then I'm going to add some of the Moonshine Metallics. Two, three, four, five, six, and also in the second one for the um, for the second color. I've got my, what I've done, I mean, I've done that to the sides also. And I've got to count, four, five, six. Okay, um, I've um, already sealed it with uh, the, um, the top coat, hi Dana, with the top coat satin, because I think that gives it a, like it, it enhances the blues pretty nicely. Um, my tongue is just too quick tonight. Sorry. So now I'm going to add the uh, Moonshine Metallics. Let's start with the silver bullet. Also, there's a spoon measuring in there. So, and then I'm going to mix it up and then it'll be ready to use basically. As I said, you can use the, um, the glazes from Dixie Bell also. Obviously we all like to sell, but um, if you have the Winter Metallics on hand, if you have some top coat on hand and you just, and we don't have the the glazes, you can help yourself out with that. So that's what it looks like now. That's the silver one. And now we're just going to do the golden one also. Same procedure, ready to shake it up. Sorry for being quiet. I have to count. <laughs> I can't count and uh, talk at the same time. Okay, last one. So that's a nice thing about the, the products from Dixie Bell, that they are so versatile. You know, there's like, if you have a product, you can use it for loads of different uh, purposes. And this is the, the nice thing about it, you know. Okay, so that's nicely mixed now also. And uh, I've got some artist brushes. I'm just going to close those down for now before I drop everything. Everybody who follows me knows there's a bit of uh, chaos painting when you're around me. And I'm going to put my drop cloth down here. I have a couple of artist brushes. I brought a nice selection just um, to have the right ones on hand. I've got um, my baby wipes. I'm a messy painter and also if you want to wipe it back. Um, I've got my Mr. Bottle just in case. So I'm all prepared. As I said, this is sealed with uh, the top coat satin and um, I'm doing that before whatever I put on, you know, I, I mo most of the time I use the, the flat top coat, but for this project, I prefer the satin top coat and the chalk mineral paints by Dixie Bell, they are open porous. So they have this nice flat finish, what I really like, but they're also uh, therefore grab onto everything which comes on top. So when you work with colored waxes or when you work with glazes, 
and it's not sealed and you put it straight onto the, the paint, the paint will hold on to it, which gives a beautiful effect if you want to have that. But if you want to control it, like I like to do it, I put a top coat on and um, so therefore I'll be more able to wipe it back or to move it around and stuff like that. So I'm just going to check, put my glasses on. Um, Tracy, I'm mixing the Gator Hide with the metallics because I want to make my, or I'm making my own glaze. I'm going to glaze like those edges here. You know, I don't want to put like a solid color of uh, paint on there. I want to enhance the, the low lights of the, the piece also. So that's the reason I'm making my own glaze. Uh, so do you mind like this? I'm trying to sell a bullet. Yes. Hi <laughs> Dana. Yes, you catch me here. That's right. Okay, guys, keep keep your questions coming. Um, so I've mixed those up now, and uh, I'm going to work in sections because uh, the Moon Metallics and also the Gator Hide they both dry pretty quick. So I'm going to use a brush for each color. Sometimes I'm doing it, sometimes I don't, but this time I am doing it and I'm just starting with the with the, the gold one and I put it on here and I'm not worried about that I'm using or that I'm being generous with it because I know I can wipe it back. So this is that. Now I'm going to take gloss. And wipe it back. And if it's still, you can use some water also. Also the Gator Hide and the um, and the neutral metallics, they are water-based. You can do it this way, wipe it back, or you can take a baby wipe, which works nicely also, and work it, uh, work it back with that. So, put some gold on there. Continue with some silver, because I wanna mix those together, basically. That's what we've done on the sides. Blend those a little in together. And I don't want to have uh, a solid coat on there. I just want to enhance it a little bit. I don't want it too shiny. This is basically just to, to give it a little bit of a shine on those areas. Obviously, it always depends what... Um, what look you're going for and this is the look I've chosen for this piece. There's loads of ways to enhance the things. It probably, I mean, I'm sure it would look nice if you would paint those uh, solid in Rucha Metallics, but that's not what I... It's the, um, the Moonshine Metallics by Dixie Bell. I'm using the Gold Digger and the Silver Bullet. As I said, I'm working in sections because Muncha Metallics and also the um, Gator Hides dry pretty quickly. And there is a few products you can use for something like that. Oops, a bit messy here, dripping down. Put it in those edges. I'm probably gonna go over it a little bit with dry brushing later on also, but I first wanna enhance those, um, especially like in those edges to have a little more in there. Mm -hmm. 
The Gator Hide is in the Moonshine Metallics because I've made it lace. I'm not sealing it again with it. You know, the Moonshine Metallics, they don't need a sealer themselves because they have a built-in sealer also. But I wanted to make it more into the glaze. That's the reason I have the, the Gator Hide in there. And you see, I'm wiping most of it back anyway because I just want to leave I just want to leave like a, a very slight shimmer. That's the, the idea of um, glazing. You know, glazing is not uh, putting like a load of color on there. Glazing is to have like, um, I'll, just, I'll just bring it up close. This glazing is about to have like a slight shimmer, you know, it's not like a solid, a solid coat on there. made it straight in that's uh, unusual for me and I'm um, I'm basically changing in between I'm going from the gold digger to the silver bullet and mixing those up basically working in sections thank you Michelle Hi, Brigida. Thank you, Dixie Bell. And this is what I like, you know, about those products that you can do loads of things with it. You're not only stuck with one product for one thing. You can use different products and uh, achieve basically the same result. So if you run out of something, you most of the time can just like grab another product by Dixiebel and uh, achieve the same, the same result. And the reason I'm working in sections also is um, because it dries pretty quickly and uh, I don't want to rub too hard on it. And I'm putting it right into those crevices around. And then I'm gonna come in with my cloth and I'm wiping it back. Thank you, Ronnie. Um, Jolie, the colors I've used, hang on, I'm just going to wipe that back. I'm going to tell you the colors in a minute. So, come in with my baby wipe. Gives me a little more control. You know, guys, this is, you know, I'm just taking you on, on the journey I'm having with this piece, you know. This is, uh, as I said, there's like loads of ways to do something and somebody else would like to have it a little more solid with the colors. Um, the colors I've used, Jody, it's like I started at the bottom with Bunker Hill Blue, which went into the Cobalt Blue. The Cobalt Blue went into the Blueberry, the Blueberry into the Haint Blue. The hand blue into the mermaid tail and the mermaid tail into the antebellum blue. This is like all the blues going up here. So, okay, carry on. Gotta clean that brush, there's quite a little paint down there. So, I'm gonna go around this edge here. And as I said, glazes. That's basically the, the character of a glaze, that the glaze is, is very subtle. Um, you want to have a solid coat, you, you paint it obviously without, uh, without uh, any, oh, there's a solid color, so no, I've got it. But if you want to have it like, uh, just like a little bit, like I do, this is the way you can do it without having it like too, too glammy. But still you have the chance if this is not, um, not enough, you can get your brush, you can dry it off a little bit and you can go slightly over it again. Like this, do the same thing with the gold, 
dry it off a little bit, you know, if it's not shimmery enough, you can do that. Mix those two together. Just over those top edges. This is now like almost like a dry brushing on those edges. This is just, you know, playing around with it. Oops, yeah. Sometimes helps if you take a plain glass. It's all you can do with that, you know, you can um, do the low lights like a glaze and then you can come over the top with the almost dry brush and give it a bit more shimmer also. What do you think with the, the gold and silver together? Exactly, yeah. My God, Sata, exactly. It looks like behind a shining, a shining haze, yeah. And that's what I like to have for that piece. Mm. Okay. So, go to the next draw. Basically, do the same thing. Maybe I do the top because there you can see the um, more of the the difference of the. Color comes out a little better. Start with the gold. See that? Yeah. Put it into those crevices. Inside also. Come in with the floss, wipe it back. Because I have like oops, uh, because I have already like a top coat underneath, it's easy to control. You know, it's not gripping onto the paint underneath that much, and you can see it. You know, it dries already. It goes really really quick. I'll come in with my baby wipe or a wet cloth, whatever, and wipe it back a little more. Uh, this is playing, playing with the paints. That's what I like to do. Playing with the paints. Goes into the silver bullet again to give it like a, a little bit of a shimmer. Cloth wipe it back. Yeah, champagne is looking light. That's right. I really like the um, Steel Magnolia, which is for me basically like a mixture of the Silver Bullet and the, the Gold Digger from the beginning on. But um, it looks different when you mix those and you have those like moving into each other. It gives like the piece a totally different character. Which I think is quite interesting. Okay, the gold. Go around the edge. Gold looks beautiful with the antebellum blue. I think I like that really, really a lot. So, it dries so quick. Dry 
fold it as a baby bike. You can use a, a wet cloth also, you know, as like also the Gator Hide and the Mucha Metallics, they are water based. So. It. Hi Dennis, thank you for joining. Thank you, Renee. Thank you, Nina. Yes, Dixie Bell, you know me, I like the little touches. So oh the silver looks beautiful also. <laughs> it's like it all goes nicely together. Yes. And it's Kiara, her fur baby. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> She's talking also. Hi, Zen. Thank you for joining me. Um, stripes on top, Nina. There she is. She wants to say hello to you guys. <laughs> Stripes on top, Nina. Actually, I didn't think about it. I was thinking about um, just leaving the wood, you know, leaving it the, the wood and do some uh, no paint gel set and espresso, but stripes on top. I will think about it. Maybe I do that. As you know me, my pieces always develop while I'm doing them. I have, you know, I have a rough idea which direction I'm going, but well, this is dry already, mm -hmm. which direction I'm going. And uh, with each step, I basically know what I'm doing on the next step. I always admire people, you know, who come on and they're like, okay, I'm going to do this and this and this and this and this and uh, boom, you know, and they really follow along with it. For me, it's um, yeah, um, it's flowing with the piece, so to say. You know, I knew I wanted to have the transfer on there, which I stuck to this time also. Sometimes I do change it up also, but um, this time I really wanted to have that transfer on there, and um, so. I know it sounds stupid, but um, this, you know, those pieces, they, you know, they, they basically, or they, they tell me, you know, why not go along with it, what to do with them. And sometimes you, you tell me. <laughs> so, that's good, Dennis. I'm sure you love it. Yes, she always wants it to participate. Well, she's getting earlier, you know, usually she was like my alarm for about, you know, when I was 40 minutes on, she was like, okay, now you've been talking enough. But uh, now she's like getting the hang on um, being on the lives. <laughs> getting, becoming a, a famous, a famous cat, so to say, like Dixie Bell cat. Silver there. Clean it up with the baby wipe. So, do a little bit of dry brushing. Let's clean the brush up a little. And then I'm just going to go over the edges here on top. Like not putting too much on there. If it's too much, you can wipe it back again. Just barely touching the surface. Just want to add like a little bit more of a shimmer. And you can see it's like it stays in the, like in those crevices. And go also in there with your finger if you want to. And 
then as always, this is up to your own taste. Blend it into the silver bullet a little bit if you want to. Just hardly touching the surface, as I said. And this is basically moving into each other beautifully. So the, the hardware itself, I'm... Hi, Sharon. You actually did, Michelle. Very good. <laughs> you did, Michelle. So, um, for the for the hardware itself, I'm also going to have it in. That's me. <laughs> Sparkly moonshine metallics all over me. I'm going to paint that solid, you know, I'm not doing to glaze those and I'm using the tiny artist brushes and I'm just going to go It's going to need two coats. They can be nice and shimmery. And I'm mixing colors together basically to the silver on the edges there As they do dry that quick. This is basically mixing up the colors. There's going to need a second coat. Thank you, Sharon. So the same down here. One silver bullet, one uh, gold digger. Well, it is beautiful with this um, blueberry and uh, hate blue area. So, and also here, light hand. I'm not pushing on their heart, you know. You don't need to push on their heart to release the paint from the brush, you know. It's enough if you, you know, gently brush the the surface and um, to offload basically the paint. Make sure I've got this, the right color in my hand. So I'm sure the top one is already dry. I can go, go over it again and the reason I'm not using the glaze for this now, the custom glaze I made is because I want to have this covered like a little more solid and that's the reason I'm using the Moonshine Metallics on its own. So You can see how beautifully And obviously with the moonshine metallics you can just, you know, you could paint like the whole piece with it. That looks absolutely gorgeous also. But so it's the time. Another coat down there. That's how quickly they dry. And um, those artist brushes. Uh, 
there's like different types of um, artist brushes. The ones I'm using now, they have uh, also like uh, synthetic bristles, which are nice and soft, but firm enough that they don't like, you know, just spread out as soon as you touch a surface. And um, then you have the um, natural bristles like this one. They might shed. They didn't shed. This is like a, um, a German um, company who does uh, artist brushes. They're pretty solid, but uh, yeah, they are like differences. So, but for this, I like to work with the. So this is going to to dry nice and shiny. You know, the ones down here, they are already finished. You can see, you know, when it's dried, I'm just going to put it up there, how nice and, and shiny that'll become at the end. That's basically, you can see like shimmering in the edges and stuff like that. That's basically the, um, the result I'm going for. That's what I envisioned for this piece. So, also, Mr. Pontix, no plans today. That's good. Oh, thank you, Dixie Bell. I didn't say that, guys. I would highly appreciate if you pop over to my page and leave me a like there. So, I, I'll be on here every Tuesday, but uh, I also do lives in German uh, on the Dixie Bell Europe page, and uh, I do quite a bit of lives during the week. So, I'll be very happy if you join me. So, guys, it is almost 40 minutes um i'm pretty proud i didn't take up your time too much tonight i hope you enjoyed that i hope this was uh, giving you ideas obviously everybody has a different idea of uh, the finish of its project but uh, this is the basically what i had in mind for this piece um, i'd like to have it shimmery but uh, not like overloaded uh, so i hope you enjoyed that um yeah, if you have any further questions, leave it in the comments. If you watch replay, put hashtag replay into the comments. And again, my name is Angela. I am the owner of Creative Energy from Elfen und Helden. I'm a primary retailer for Dixwell over here in Frankfurt in Germany. I'm very happy you joined me. Um, I'm wishing you, you're welcome, Cynthia. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, where was I? Yeah, thank you so much for joining me. You have a great afternoon a great day a great evening wherever you are watching from it is uh, now almost 10 p.m over here so i shall get ready for bed soon and uh, i hope to see you next week you guys take care and uh, thanks again bye bye oh, falling off my jet. <laughs>